Paula, and welcome to my kitchen. Happy Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day today, and I am getting a special treat outside that my husband and my son are going to grill out for me. But I told them I'd take care of the appetizer. And this is my favorite. This is my most requested uh, recipe for grilling out. It's a quesadilla. And this is made with Philadelphia cream cheese. Now the cream cheese put in the middle of a quesadilla when you want to flip it and grill it, holds it together so beautifully and gives it the most delicious, rich, creamy flavor on the inside. I can't wait to show this to you. Okay, these go together so quickly. I've got, where do you see the ingredients? You're going to know why it's my most requested grill recipe, appetizer grill recipe. Four ounces of softened Philadelphia cream cheese. This is what makes it so creamy and wonderful. A half, four ounces, one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And, oops, a half a teaspoon of bay seasoning, old bay seasoning, right in there. Now, these are really delicious. Sun-dried tomatoes in oil, julienne, you can buy them in the jar this way, already done up. Put that in there, right with the cheeses. Now I've got two green onions here, scallions, whatever you choose to call them. I'm just going to chop those up. Get that out of the way for you. I'm just going to chop these up real quick. Slice these up, the whites and the light green parts. And just give these a little chop both ways. So we can get the bait. They're nice and small for inside the quesadillas. This is so good. I love having guests over grill out. If you've watched any of my other videos, I think you know that. that's all I talk about. I love grilling out. I'm going to put this right in to the rest of the cheese mixture. I'm taking these recipes down with me. Next week I am going to be in Atlanta. So when I do my videos next week, they're going to be from a traveling perspective. I'm doing them in different kitchens all week long. That's going to be a challenge, but it'll be fun. Okay, now this, these ingredients are all set here. Now, this is just the base and the, the thing that makes the quesadillas hold together so well. Now to this, and this is to taste. I like things spicy. So I am going to add some cayenne pepper. But be careful of this. You know how, how spicy this is. I, my family and I do like it spicy though. Yeah, a little more. But only to your own taste. Okay, that looks good. See how nice and creamy that is? Okay, you ready for the rest of the ingredients? You're going to love it. Take one tortilla and take some of this delicious cream cheese mixture and spread a little bit of that on one tortilla. Now, the last time I was in Atlanta, which is where my husband's family lives and my family. I just love it there. This was the recipe that everybody emailed me for, especially my niece Kathy. She really likes these. Okay, we got that cheese mixture down now. Like this isn't good enough. I have shrimp. Now these little guys are Canadian shrimp. And I know Savannah has the most spectacular shrimp. But these little guys are really cute. But they're all that will grow in our cold waters up here in Boston. So I'm going to put some of these shrimp right down on top. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, a shrimp quesadilla. Just 
spread those right over like that. Oh, such an unusual thing inside a quesadilla, but it's going to be so good. You take your second tortilla and a little more of the cream cheese mixture. You want it on both sides because it really helps to hold the tortillas together. It keeps all the shrimp in there when you're grilling it. And you know when you're trying to turn a quesadilla, if you don't have the, if you don't have the cream cheese in any quesadilla mix, whether it's an old recipe, add the cream cheese to it because it really makes these quesadillas so good and so easy to handle on the grill or wherever you're going to, even if you're doing it just on the griddle. That's it. That's the whole quesadilla right there. Now, I'll take a little bit of uh, oil and brush it on top. You don't need much. I just don't want it to stick. And it won't really stick even without it, but put this on here for, for safety measure. Crisps it up too. I like them crisp. Now, I'm going to take this, I am grilling out later with my family for Mother's Day, but I'm going to show you this on the stove. I've got a grill pan, and I'm going to put this on the stove. The whole thing takes about two minutes on either side, just long enough to get grill marks and to melt the inside, and wait until you taste this. It is outstanding. Nice and hot, and wait to see how well these hold together. The cream cheese inside here is just going to make it so easy to flip. I don't have good luck flipping quesadillas without the cream cheese in in the uh, quesadilla. So I'm just going to put this right on, it's nice and hot, put this right on the grill pan, just like that. Now, I'm going to flip these twice. It's going to take about, I'd say, two minutes on either side, maybe less on an outside grill. You just have to watch it, make sure it doesn't burn, but you want the grill marks and you want the cheeses to melt. Get that up. Now I'm going to change it around so I get the cross grill mark. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Last flip. Get those grill marks. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There is a perfect quesadilla. It's just about ready. I'm going to cut it up for you and show you how incredibly creamy and delicious it is inside. Here is this beautiful quesadilla. And thanks to Philadelphia cream cheese, inside here, it was so easy to make. Now, I make these ahead of time. You stack them up. And when I'm, my company comes and I'm ready to grill, I just take them out and add I need them, I throw one on the grill. If they're so quick to do that you can do them with company just as, as, you're, as they're coming in. So let's cut these up. I'm going to cut these in about six wedges. Oh, it is so yummy on the inside. I can see the cheese is just gushing out. Look at this beautiful cheesy, delicious quesadilla. Oh, shrimp, sun-dried tomato. Here it is, this gorgeous quesadilla. I love Mexican food. I brought my little tablecloth back from Mexico. It's actually a blanket. I use it as a tablecloth outside. And this is, like I said, number one most requested grilled appetizer recipe from my friends and family. So try this. Mmm. 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 Oh, that is so good. Oh, that is really good. Now, when I'm in Atlanta next week, I know I'm going to be making some of these on the grill. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for giving me your time. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.